This month we have one of the most exciting basketball players to ever come through the Miami Valley, Chris Wright. He was all area, all state last year. Yeah, come on. <laughs> He's averaging over 20 points per game this season. And we went to Michigan State, we went to Michigan, we went, you know, we just was going all over. But as we rode in the car, we would pros, cons. So, but every time we did the pros and the cons, the pros was for Dayton. I want to give him some of the pros of going to the University of Dayton. The fan base, fantastic. The people that within the community uh, love their basketball, and the people at the university love their basketball. As you can see, Chris is the biggest right flyer to come along since the days of Wilbur and Orville. The athletic 6'6 small forward can do it all. He's ranked as the top 50 player in the country by most scouting services. When I was a sophomore in high school. You know, it was, it was my first unofficial visit, and I never thought about coming to Dayton. This is my first time I've ever been on campus. So, you know, I stuck on campus, and, you know, I actually like it. You know, I'd never been over here before, and, you know, I told my mom, like, I think I might end up going to Dayton one day, but I was just joking because the campus is so nice. Everybody treated me with respect and everybody loved each other and they basically embraced me before I even made a decision to come here. And it was just like amazing because I'd never been over here and been from Dayton. It was, it was fun to me, actually. I told him, I said, well, you have to make up your mind. I'm not gonna make it up for you. So one night, three o'clock in the morning, he came in my room and woke me up and sat on the bed. I said, what? He said, I'm going to commit. I said, you going to commit to what? Getting your butt whooped? I said, it's 3 o'clock. I got to go to work. He said, I'm about, I'm going to commit to. I said, commit to who? He said, date. I made up my mind. I want to go to date. I said, OK, talk to me when I get up. So next day. Flyers today got a verbal commitment from Troutwood's Chris Wright, the 6'7 forward, one of the top 20 juniors in the country. He turned down offers from Illinois, Michigan State, Michigan, Texas, and Florida. Well, I chose you, Dave, because I knew Brian Gregory was going to be a championship program, and I really wanted to be a part of that. He was the first guy that said, you know what, I can go to any place I want to in the country. But the best place for me in my career and what I want to do in the future is at the University of Dayton. And Chris Wright, who has pretty much been everywhere, showing off his athleticism. I just always thought, why would I have to go all the way across the country when I can go right up the street and have the same type of facilities and, you know, be my own person. Flyers come away with it. Chris Wright on the break, around, spin it, oh, oh, it off the glass and hit 77 71. And I felt that University of Dayton, it was on the rise, and you know, I wanted to just come in and help as much as possible, and I wanted to be the start of something. I think it kind of set a domino effect on because you've seen there's quite a few other kids that have decided to stick around and, and, and go to UD. UD is definitely going to have some fun when Mr. Chris Wright gets here next year. When I see him come here, I'm like, you really can stay home and accomplish many things. Um, and one of the top picks and top men in the NBA. He's almost there, and just being right here at home is just everything. Our job is to make sure that his next step, wherever and whenever it presents itself, that he is completely prepared for that. And that just doesn't mean in one aspect of his life. That means in everything. Work, Chris! Work, he works, baby! Lift now, lift, Chris. That he has the foundation to face anything. And I know that UD fan base love people that work hard, love people that have integrity and character, and they, they love people that come and elevate the program. And I knew Chris could do both of those. My son really loves him. You know, he calls him the high flyer. <laughs> so many times, say, hey, Dad, there's Cuz Cuz. There's Chris. There's Chris right there, Dad. By the time he was a junior and senior in high school, the elementary students were already looking up to him. He was a role model to them. And to show the kids that I came from Troutwood, I graduated, and now I've done these, these wonderful things. I'm going on to college. And it, it's a motivation for them, something that we can only talk to them about, but Chris can actually show them. Well, how are your classes coming along? Thank you. 
Yeah. Stay that way. Yeah. Because if you want to graduate and go to the pros. Yeah. Right. Chris on the baseline, the lob, and the flush, and a foul. BG, what he's done for Chris. He's made Chris realize that his dreams can come true. I think the three of us, Chris, his family, and our program have all worked together to continually move him forward without any distractions or any opportunities for him to be derailed from his ultimate goal of moving on and playing at the next level. Right and, he'll go to the and our job was to help that process along uh, and give him the opportunities, the tools and resources to be successful. Chris has handled himself in a way that we're all proud. I'm just glad to see him doing what he's doing and love what he's doing. We're just glad that somebody made it. Yes. That somebody is doing something positive. That's what we're proud of. Right for three. Got it! He has an athletic piece, an academic piece, a family piece, and also a spiritual piece. And that's why he's going to go a long way. Oh!